What a weapon of a backhand he has. And now Mikey McDonough on the replay, Rosie. Yeah, I mean, smaller wave, really just going through the smoky section. When you're looking at, um, you know, Aton's wave, Ramsey's wave, and how much bigger it was in comparison, this really isn't going to factor. Um, Kalani Ball, this one was interesting because that was the first wave of the set and it was super meh. That's what it used to look like <laughs> <laughs> quite often, especially at this event. Here comes a nice glide and power and flow from the Moroccan. Kalani Ball, Aton Osborne, Mikey McDonough. And also Ramsey Bookiam representing Morocco as he is current world number four on the Challenger Series. Has got a nice aerial view of a nose pick reverse thrown down from Ventura, California zone, Aton Osborne. Mixing up to the inside section oh. and just lays it down in a stylish way. But I'm super happy to be back in the jersey and just competing and the whole mindset and the preparation and the process and everything. It's, um, I don't know, it's what I love about competing. And so being here again and doing it and going through the motions is, uh, is awesome. You feel like you're rejuvenated a little bit going into this event? Yeah, definitely. I just uh, been competing so much my whole life. And then finally this year, I just kind of took a big break and just uh, this last, or I guess this year, but yeah, I took a big break. And so it feels, I have a lot of excitement um, coming back to it now. Well, we're excited to see you continue on. Congratulations. Thank you. Boy, he ran into some wild weather in the middle of the ocean. Always learning more about his favorite place to be in the world, right in the water. This is what Eitan just did, Makua. Oh, this boy is really uh, <laughs> loose on his board. I never really uh, seen him surf waves like this in an in a event, like you're saying, Rosie, but this bugger has got some pop, some speed, and some flow. Yeah, I'm still not okay with this, you know? <laughs> he just had that pure, natural, like, aim at just surfing all day he still wanted to play be a part of the event and everyone had to say hey okay next one's coming up you know i figured out hey there's something i can learn from this and here we go up and riding Aton osborne with some speed and he'll just hop out of that one but Aton has a six any improvement through rounds for Aton we'll see his position improve on the live rankings oh, mikey wow. madonna clean over the top of that roof as well. Two tidy maneuvers. We'll see him move up the rankings. Back to Mikey's wave here, Makua. Yeah, just beautiful climbs on this wave. A little bit late on both of them, but nonetheless, those are beautiful maneuvers. Seeing a 2.18. Exchange continues with Kalani Ball. How smooth is that? Great connection right off the lip. Two maneuvers on that right. And that'll be Kalani's best wave so far and onto the lip in that, in that situation. But here you go, uh, Kalani Ball just laying into that, like you said, Joe, so smooth, on timing, just back to back, bang, bang. Some tips from Makua on what to do, where to eat, what kind of playlist to listen to. Before we get to more of that, we'll watch Mikey. Came off a 5.27 on his last, kind of left fishing there, chasing down a 4.31. Back into live action, Kalani Ball, eating a 1.1. He pulls that, he's got it. Incomplete, so he stays in third. We'll start flowing down the line on this right. Cool version of a tail slide. And you can tell his fundamentals are sweet, even in small waves, springing off the bottom into little one foot sections. And he'll fade out of there. So he's trying to better a 2 3 3 is noticing the activity in the lineup. This is what we've been waiting for. Mikey on the first. He's just up and out. Next wave already crumbling out the back. And Ramsey's gonna take it. Needs a 4.88. Knives it right oh. over the top of Mikey McDonough. So he had to try to find a point to hit. That wave and he ends up being complete. Here's Kalani Ball's opportunity. Powerful forehand hook. Quick tight jam there and taps it for a nice completion. So very interesting set there, Makua. He didn't win it. I think he thought he was for sure going to get second priority there. As we see the last of Kalani ball, Rosie. Yeah, interesting from Kalani here. I mean, this could shake up the situation even more. And a 6.37 are his top two. So the last one, the 6-3-7, Aton to second, Mikey to third, Ramsey still fourth. And here goes Kalani Ball, our heat leader. leader. A little wedge to work with, white water, he'll just throw that turn into the soup and try to pull it off. That was amazing. He's still standing on his board. 
Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you can kind of tell surfing, you know, these many heats, what wave, if it has scoring potential. I think it's going to work into his favor if he stays patient again and tries to get one of those second waves out the back. Eitan Osborne, snap already. There's the float. He's got some nice speed. Snap over the white water. And he'll just kind of check that last <laughs> section and avoid Kalani Ball on the inside. But he has to get right down to paddling to make sure he at least gets priority over Kalani. He's coming up in two minutes from now. Kalani Ball is going to roll in, the heat leader. Building up some board speed. There's the first jam on that opening section. Nice vertical hack there with the lip coming down. He's been controlling those climbing type hacks throughout this heat. Oh, here we go. This is an important way of see. Mikey, big float. Right into a bottom turn. Nice composure for a two-turn combination. On the live rankings, this is the score we're waiting for. Is it enough to take Aton out of the event? Makua, first, your thoughts. And now next one's going to go to Ramsey. Uses his priority, needs a 5.24. Nothing yet, and he's got to kick out. That was a shame right there, man. That wave just did not give anything on offer. I mean, everything that we've been saying, the second wave of the set, Ramsey got it, and it was that dud. So, poor guy is trying. Aton up and out. <laughs> so, Aton hangs on to second, but he just threw away his priority. Didn't change his total in second, so it's been a very challenging heat. A 4.87. Aton Osborne drops to third on the final wave of the matchup. A tough one there for Aton Osborne, who came in with a fighting shot. Came into this event number 13, and he'll lose out on qualification, but a huge buzzer beater moment for Mikey McDonough as we continue in the round of 64. Kaipo and Ross coming up next.